Who was your favourite Rangers player when you were younger? Mm. Paul Gascoigne's probably my hero. But in terms of more my generation growing up, it's got to be Barry Ferguson. Uh, Rangers fan captain of, captain of the club at such a young age and he was very successful and you know how these things work, ended up playing with him later on in my career which was also very special as well so I'd say him. What's first, cereal or milk? Uh, would you pour in first? Cereal. Anything else is weird. What was your fa favourite Rangers top growing up and why? I'm going to say I dressed up as Michael Moles once for Halloween at our school school disco, and it was the white, dark dark blue, light blue NTL one, and I had moles in the back, and I just painted my face with freckles and spiked my hair up. So I think because it's like an early memory, I'll say that one. Um, rate black pudding out of ten. Eight. I prefer fruit pudding, right? And I say this to everyone. There you go. That Is reaction that tells white you. One? The white one, I. Nobody likes it, but I, 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 I think black pudding's really nice, an 8 out of 10, but fruit pudding's unbelievable, fruit pudding's a 9, fruit pudding's mold. Is it true that you are the worst Fortnite player at the club, who's look, um, that's not one of the boys, no, far from it, I think I'm the best. I've uh, heard that you're the best. Aye, I'm the best, but I, I play it enough so I should be. Who's the funniest player in the squad? Um, they're off, they're, there's boys that are funny for different reasons. Oh, Fredo's hilarious and he doesn't speak English. How's that possible? Uh, we've got, uh, there's, fu there's funny boys, but I'm going to say who makes me laugh the most. I'm going to go John Flanagan because I don't know, it's something about his, just, his accent and just the way he speaks and that's just hilarious. So I'm going to go him. What's your favourite episode of Still Game? Oh, loads. I'd say the one where they hate going to the park, so they, they make their own garden obviously at the top Wait, of the you, flats. I'm not here now, I won't know. That one, and uh, when obviously Winston's waiting on the bus and he sees the two Neds with the dogs, <laughs> and he starts, starts having a go at the Neds and then the bus drives away, that's one of the funniest scenes ever. Which Hogwarts house are you in? Gryffindor. Gryffindor all day. No questions. Home house. What's the funniest thing you've seen either in the dressing room or on the pitch? See, I, I hate questions like this because... You can't actually answer them. No, honestly, right, people that know me don't know this. I have the worst memory in the world. Like, my memory is so bad. I'm so forgetful about everything. My only thing that's actually good in terms of memory is football. Rangers. But, aye, Rangers and football. But, like, with things like this, like... I think the funny thing you've ever seen the dressing room on the pitch. Do you know what, right, this, this is hilarious, but it's actual bang out of the order. An ex-Rangers player that I've played with, his brother, did a number two in somebody's water bottle. And we I'm now not, need to I'm figure out who that joke. is. I don't know if it's the funniest thing or the most disgusting thing, but I'll tell, I'll tell you, cut it out if you want. Would you rather have fingers as long as your legs, or legs as long as your finger? Your fingers. As long as your legs. What a die. I'd rather have fingers as long as my legs because you have tiny legs and obviously I, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. So. Can you share on a piece of advice that Steven G Gerrard has given you this season? Yeah, um, he's not really about advice, he's just sort of let you express yourself and let you be yourself. So I think that's the sort of best quality you can give anyone, he just lets you be yourself. So. Uh, other than being in the Rangers first team, what other job would you love to do at the club? Yours used to, because right. you're on a constant holiday, it's hardly <laughs> work, so I'm going to say yours. Loudest singer in the dressing room, Scott Arfield by Country Mile. Sings every day, um, so that is him. What's like back out? Is the pubs okay? Uh, Did you ever go out in back out? No, not really. Well, there's a Rangers pub in back out, but it's definitely not as. It's not big enough for them that we're going to take, so... <laughs> Is bettering the megaphone moment now a distinct possibility under Stevie G? Eh... Uh, I mean, it'll be better because we'll be running the SPL, so that's, that's what'll make it better, but... Eh... Uh, 
I'd, I'd, I'd have absolutely no qualms whatsoever to go back in again, eh? Funniest moment when the team went abroad for a game uh, in Florida. A guy when we were walking down the street in Florida last January. A guy when we were walking down the street just in a random neighbourhood that was like just seemed normal. Just ran at West Fothering with a ball and was just swinging his arms in like a circle, like just skipping over to Wes. <laughs> Wes was just looking like, what's going to happen here? Am I going to get bottled or what? But nothing happened, but it, was, it, it, was, it wasn't it funny at the time to be fair, but it was funny after. Who's got the best, best sense of style in the squad? Um, I, gen I think I've got the best dress, dress sense by a mile. Well, Russ McCrory said this the other week and he's on the spot. I did, um, I'm just sharp, clean, gentlemanly. Um, if you could be any Rangers player for a day, who would it be? I think let's go current squad. Current squad? Probably if it's pretty cool. Like, I, I'd imagine most people say the same, but I would like to be laughed just to like... Just to, to know. see. I'd, I'd love to know what's in his head, like... Mm. When he's just... When he's just doing what he does. Or Alfredo. I'd like I, to know what Alfredo does I, on a I day. Just, I'd just love to know like, what Alfredo does in his spare time. When he go, I'd love to see Alfredo go to like a Nando's or a coffee shop and order anything and just speak to somebody that can't speak any Spanish whatsoever. I think he'd just laugh a lot. Uh, or just say <laughs> K. He's like Marcel for... What's his name? <laughs> no, Manuel, sorry. He's like Manuel for Fault of Killers. Oh, really? <laughs> That's Alfredo Manuel.